Okay, so this video is going to be a little bit more different than any of the other morbidly curiosity videos I've made so far. This channel is about rabbit holes and internet finds, and this one is no exception at all. Do you guys like McDonald's? You know, McDonald's is actually pretty good. You could eat a Happy Meal, crave a McChicken, or eat the little chicken nuggets, or eat the most infamous double McCheeseburger. Now, I'm not gonna lie guys, this website was not an easy find. I usually try my best to find some hidden stuff on these, on these companies with secret practices or on their websites, and I actually found one called 365black.com, and yes, I will just describe it in a second. Now, you're probably wondering why such a website name represents McDonald's at all. Now, this website was very hard to find that when I searched it on the internet, I couldn't even find anything to for, associate with this website because McDonald's actually says it can't be found. So I went on the Wayback Machine and it has been our best friend in this situation. Another thing I'd like to say about this website is surprisingly, this website was up for a couple of years and it lasted for some time and, and there was in fact multiple different versions of it. Okay, so on the website on the Wayback Machine, we're, we're on it right now, and, it's, and the homepage says 365 Black, and we don't really know exactly what it is, but you see them a cafe, a bunch of a bunch of people enjoying their drinks, and yeah, and it, it, on the bottom, it's actually supposed to be about uh, celebrating some part of Black History Month, but we'll see. Here's what it's about. It says, what is 365 Black? It says, at McDonald's, we believe that African American culture and achievement should be celebrated 365 days a year, not just during Black History Month, which is not a bad point, but anyways, let's get on to it. That's the idea behind 365black.com. It's a place where you can learn more about education, employment, career advancement, and entrepreneurship opportunities. I'm not sure how you could like get any entrepreneurship at McDonald's, but I guess we'll just keep reading. And it says, and meet people whose lives have been touched by McDonald's. Oh, isn't that a little corny? But anyways, it says, plus, you can also have a chance to win exciting once-in-a-lifetime opportunities. So make sure you visit often so you just might get expired. Like the unique African uh, baobab bab tree, I'm going to mispronounce that so hard, uh, which nourishes its community with its leaves and fruit. McDonald's has branched out to the African-American community, nourishing it with valuable programs and opportunities. Now, I'm not going to lie. The way they went about this is kind of odd. Like, I can understand why there's like they're trying to show a positive approach of appreciating different cultures and stuff. But it's really weird because McDonald's actually has a very interesting and dark history of uh, uh, encouraging child obesity and then many other things too. And another thing too with McDonald's is, yes, it's really nice that they're trying to, trying to show appreciation. But it's really weird because it was very hidden in a lot of ways. Like, I don't remember growing up with this at all, like, not even seeing it. It's kind of insane because this was actually on TVs and stuff. But the way they marketed this thing and the way they promoted it was very racially stereotyped. Like, it wasn't necessarily racist, but it could be stereotyped to the point where it could be pretty offensive to a lot of those African Americans because it's like almost like the way this whole campaign could feel for a lot of people is uh, it could feel like a parody like to me when i look at this website it kind of reminds me of some satirical website also something from gta 4 or 5 which is kind of funny because you go on the internet browser on those games and it's kind of like a rip off of that that's what it kind of reminds me of it reminds me of some mcdonald's rip off website which is kind of funny and another thing too they could have really done was instead of just doing just one culture appreciation of like black people or African Americans, like why didn't they later down the line try another appreciation for another race or ethnic background with different cultures because it's also very interesting to learn other different cultures do. It's just very odd that just a fast food place out of all places did a website targeted just a demographic that actually doesn't have a very good history in our country. It's just not, it's just, I can see why it could be wrote off the wrong way. <laughs> okay, so now we're looking at the opportunities this website has. And it says, McDonald's, the brand of opportunity. For over 50 years, McDonald's has provided opportunities in the communities we serve. Learn more about many opportunities that may be available to you, which is education. Ron McDonald House Charities offers college scholarships to all students who qualify. McDonald's is also proud to support United Negro College Fund and Thurgood Marshall College Fund. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of interesting, but okay. Restaurant employee at McDonald's, we in, we celebrate diversity. We are committed to miss to understanding, recognizing, and value the differences among employees in our restaurants. I mean, that's not a bad thing. Every website, every restaurant should have equal opportunity. It's kind of weird that they're trying to go out and say this like like it was a bad thing in the past or something. 
And it says, career development, it's through the growth of our people that we grow as a company. That's why we make sure each employee gets career-long learning opportunities and the tools that he or she needs to succeed. That's kind of generic and corny, but I feel like that part and many other parts could easily be on like any other website or just on the McDonald's official website just for everybody. So anyways, entrepreneurship, interesting in owning a franchise, more than a thousand of our U.S. owners, operators have worked as a McDonald's restaurant and corporate office for about 40% owner. But wait, that's what? That makes no sense. Yes, entrepreneurship. I get it. But like, yes, thinking you can own, you can work for yourself and stuff. But like entrepreneurship is not owning like McDonald's franchise. You're still technically working for McDonald's. Like, come on, McDonald's. Like, what the hell? Get your shit together. And the other thing that kind of makes me really skeptical is when it says McDonald's is proud to support United Negro College Funds. Like, they're making it sound like they didn't support it at all before. Like, wow. Like, you should, like you're just, start, now you're just coming around and saying this? Like, it's just weird. Like, you shouldn't have not had, you don't have to come out and say it. Okay, so I'll go on the McDonald's ads page and it says, check out what's new for McDonald's. And they actually made three specific, unique uh, items, I guess, so specifically for this appreciation. And the Chipotle barbecue snack wrap, the McSkillet burrito, and McDonald McNuggets love. So I've actually looked up one of them already. And like, look at that. Look at that. That looks, I'm sorry, dude. Like, let me, let me look at a close up. Like, bro. <laughs> Ew, like. That, that has that reality fast food look. That looks disgusting, bro. Like, no, I would not eat that. Now, I'm going to show you guys these two commercials that are probably going to give you a better idea of what I mean with how they went the wrong way with this. I woke up and found you creeping. Oh, girl, I know your secret. Got that McNuggets love you went to McDonald's? It just ain't fair. Why can't you share your love with me? Nice song, but you're still not getting any of my crispy, juicy McNuggets. Girl, you got a 10 piece, please don't be stingy. Yo, cuz, I'm gonna show you how the South does. Try this out. All right. You got it? Come on. Hey. Hey, what's up? After the party, we're going to McDonald's. Try this out. Hey, yo, cuz, what's this? It's the new Southern Style Chicken Biscuit. Mmm, that's what's up. So, how you liking the South? Man, yo, I'm loving it. Now you see what I kind of mean? Like, yeah, yeah, black people with 90s Airbnb and saying all these slang and stuff. Like, like, come on, dude, that's that's messed up. Like, come on, not they, 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 all, they, you shouldn't mistreat them. You shouldn't represent them like this, man. That's horrible. Like, that's just as bad as like getting a Chinese McDonald's commercial and they'll, and have them say like Ching Chang Wong. Like, like you see what I mean? Like, so like that, that. If they had something like that, I bet that wouldn't sit well either. Now, I'm not the only person that's alone on this. Thankfully, I actually found and came across a very interesting article. It's called "The Confusing Case of McDonald's 365Black.com." And it says, uh, during last weekend's Oscars, it says, McDonald's aired a commercial featuring a black male professional entering his apartment building with two bags of McDonald's. He ends up giving up one to the doorman after chatting to him while he was studying. Turns out he was an ambitious student and not just a doorman. That spot then pushes viewers to the website 365black.com. If you didn't know if it actually exists or an official McDonald's site, you probably think it's a branded site called 365 Black with some kind of joke or satirical spoof, and you wouldn't be alone. Yeah, because if you really think about it, why would it? Why doesn't it need a separate URL? Especially if it was like a troll, that would obviously have a different link instead of being put on the website. But anyways, uh, it says, but 365 Black does really exist, and it's really an official McDonald's site that's quietly been around since 2003 as part of its overall... 365 Black Initiative. It says it's created a campaign in order to support black culture and community all year round. Hence the name. Instead of just one month a year during Black History Month in February. Problem with this was uh, the TV spot was pushing people to 365black.com this Sunday was that most people didn't know the context of it. Which I could understand because if you had a website name called 365black, especially when you like go on and it says the word black and you go on and you see a bunch of black people being like, like, target at from a big company like McDonald's, which is kind of odd because it's a fast food place. Uh, I can see why people would get confused and upset. 
And it says, yeah, they're like I said in the article, both were black and black and white. It didn't matter. We're confused and upset. And what's actually really cool and interesting is that there's actually old tweets a long time ago that people were saying that uh, some guy named Marky Mark <laughs> says he can't believe this website is a real site. He says black people buy your food regardless. Like why? Like that's a good question. Like why? What is their purpose behind this besides this positivity they, they declare to speak? It's just makes it's just weird. And it says that McDonald's is marketing some used good old fashioned racial profiling. It says, should I be mad at the McDonald's ad featuring black people in Airbnb soundtrack and the website? I mean, I w- it wouldn't surprise me. I think you have every right to be upset. And it says, this guy is disappointed in them, which is uh, understandable. It says, McDonald's and the 365 black campaign is the most racist thing I've ever heard. And then it says, then they put the bob and they put 365black.com, which is a McDonald's website about how they deeply rooted in the community. community. And it's a totally not racist propaganda marketing campaign. And yeah, it, there's a lot of these tweets and stuff. And I'm not going to read all of this, but I'm going to read this part. It says, race is still a delicate issue today, which is actually very true. This is even an older article, and this is still relevant to this day. And it says, without previously knowing about the 365 initiative and its support of black culture and history, it's understandable that some people who are seeing this ad with a random website name slapped to it might see this as a targeted marketing to the black community gone wrong. Yeah, because like I said, there's really, it's just weird that instead of putting it on their homepage at least or something, or like they're trying to do have like a go fundraiser or something to help the, these people, they just randomly just put them on a website. And then the worst part is they kind of kept it hidden and under the rug for some reason. Like it was not, not very many people knew about it, even though there was ads. Uh, many people did not probably was visit the website very much. And yes, so anyways, if you guys want to read the rest of this article, it's a very good read. I actually like it. I read the whole thing earlier uh, before I presented this video. Um, I'm going to leave, put the link in the description below so you can read this article because it's a pretty good, pretty good and interesting read. It's pretty long, but it is worth reading. So anyways, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed this very unique and very unusual video that I made. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. And I hope you guys, uh, if you want, uh, I will find more websites like this because it is website and more and not more not morbidly curious, but it's definitely an internet find. I thought it'd be really cool to present you guys because I don't see very many people present this type of stuff, and I thought it was awesome enough to at least tell you guys. Also, we just hit 4,000 subscribers, and I am very grateful. That was the fastest another thousand I've ever had in this whole career of YouTube. I hit 3,000 in May, which is fantastic. And this is going to grow even further, and I'm really, oh man, I just, I'm so excited and happy, that's all. I just love doing this stuff. I know this is probably already a long enough video, but all I'm going to say is uh, I've been actually doing a little bit of grinding and doing some DoorDash as a side job just for fun, and I'm, I will say this. It is a fun little side gig, not going to lie. I also work my main job too, but I use it as like my second or third source of income because I do make a little bit of money off YouTube, but it's not a lot, but it's enough where I'm happy enough to feel alive just making this stuff, just in general. Like, it doesn't have to be a lot. I just like doing it, and it feels great to get paid for something you like doing, like, you know, no matter how much it is. But yeah, also, I'm kind of getting sick of tired of moving because right now it's four in the morning because I've been grinding and trying to save as much money as I can to get in the new apartment finally because I'm going to try and settle down for a little bit and not move so much at all because I've been moving since like 2013, which is like eight years. And yeah, I'm kind of getting sick of it and I just kind of want to relax. Anyways, everybody, I hope you guys liked today's video. And if you really guys liked the comment, make sure to leave a comment. If you really enjoyed it, make sure to hit subscribe. And let's get this channel going. Keep on growing more than halfway to 10,000 subscribers. Honestly, by the end of the year, it'd be kind of cool to get up to at least close to like seven or 8,000 subscribers. Because at this point, it's pretty realistic. But you never know. So we'll go by one subscriber at a time. Okay, guys, until further ado, I will see you guys next time.